Hey everyone, it's Ben here with The Carry Company. If you have a bottle with liquid that needs spraying, but you're stuck on which one to buy because there's so many choices, I'm here to help. In this video, I'm gonna help you identify three key components essential to buying the trigger sprayer that's perfect for you. In order to find the right trigger sprayer, we first need to measure our bottle's neck finish. If you get your bottle's neck finish wrong, you'll have leaks and uh, probably an overall bad user experience. The neck finish is made up of two numbers. The first number refers to the outside diameter of the thread, and the second refers to the thread count. When using a measuring gauge like this one to find the neck finish of a bottle, you want to make sure you are measuring the neck width from the outside of the thread on one side to the other, not just the inside of the opening. This one measures at 28 millimeters. And since there's one full thread turn, this bottle's neck finish is 28400. Now that we know the neck finish of our bottle, we can move on to dip tubes. Ooh, that one's still wet. When it comes to trigger sprayers, we're going to be typically dealing with flexible dip tubes. Flexible dip tubes are great for spraying applications because they can bend slightly at the bottom of the bottle. If you order a dip tube that's too short, the last bit of product won't be available, making for a poor user experience. To avoid that, we want to measure the full height of the bottle and add about an inch. If you order a trigger sprayer with a dip tube that's too long, don't worry, you can always trim the end to get that perfect fit. Now that we know the correct neck finish and dip tube length, we can move on to the sprayer. The Carry Company offers trigger sprayers of all shapes, sizes, and colors, but what we're going to focus on right now is spray pattern. When picking the right trigger sprayer, it is essential to know which spray pattern or patterns are most appropriate for the product that you're trying to dispense. There are five common spray patterns. Let's start with the first one, spray. Yes, the most traditional and appropriately named spray pattern is called spray. The spray spray pattern dispenses product in a conical shape from the nozzle and is perfectly suited for hard surface cleaning and many other general purpose applications. The second spray pattern is called stream or jet. Oh, got me. <laughs> Unlike the traditional spray, which dispenses product for wider coverage, the stream spray pattern dispenses product for more narrow coverage. So if you want a high concentration of the product in a small location, like in fabric cleaning, or you want the product to travel further distances, this option's for you. And you know, many of our trigger sprayers feature an adjustable nozzle, which offers the end user the ability to switch between their desired spray pattern. The third type of spray pattern is mist. Mist sprayers are used for precise applications that require fine mists rather than streams. They dispense tiny droplets and are ideal for hair care and cosmetics products, just to name a few. The fourth spray pattern is the foamer. The foam sprayer produces a foam rather than a traditional spray pattern. This is especially useful when cleaning locker rooms and tile and grout. The fifth and final type of spray is the continuous spray pattern. Oh, that's nice. Whew, that's nice. Continuous sprayers dispense an unbroken spray, which can cut down on fatigue when a large amount of product is needed. And there you have it. You are now equipped with every bit of knowledge you need to buy the trigger sprayer that is perfect for you. Check out our vast selection of trigger sprayers and dispensing solutions at thecarrycompany.com.